Look at this mighty fine medicine. Old man, I got what you need. Oh, they have their own subtitles. Blinding pain of a sinister expression. Ninety-eight percent morphine, two percent swap gas. <laughs> oh, that's good. I feel like his reaction would be a little bit different. Where's the twist gonna come in? Whoa, what the? Tapeworms and coloral. Did he just... <laughs> he pointed his stomach. 99% cocaine powders. Holy, there's like no holds barred here. Be stopped unless there's what <laughs> oh my god wrong with her now? Oh, the little girl. She endures temptuous toothaches? Tempestuous, I think it said. Oh boy. Now she's just tripping full-time balls. <laughs> This got real dark, real fast. You know what those are. <laughs> Best two bucks I spent all year. Yeah, exactly. The is so, like, bang on, too. Whoa, what the shit? Hey, down in front! He's going to hell. That's the moral of the story. Medical science cannot save you. It will kill you and leave you dead. This message is brought to you by the Temperance Union and Anti-Saloon League. Shit, that was good. That was legit. That was legit. Okay. I'm gonna save my seven dollars. Maybe another movie in the future, we'll see. Oh, maybe this question mark is a different guy? Mister. She's gone. Who is? My wife, she's gone. <laughs> she went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. <laughs> the stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. <laughs> Made me fill out a form. Typical. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> uh. 
So hanging rock again. That's interesting. What, why are, maybe people should consider just, I don't know, not going to hanging rock because it seems to be the place where people are just dying. I'm going to see if I can find a waypoint to like, oh, that's actually pretty good probably. Because I remember it was like up on that cliff, right? Come on, Bertha, let's go. I see you down there. All right, let's investigate the mysteries of Hanging Rock. Frontiersman is a master of all aspects of the wilderness. Skills like hunting and shark shooting can gain fame and money across the land. What are you getting at? The path to becoming a true legend is long and hard. Try shooting birds or skin coyotes. Okay. Maybe let's use a weapon that has some bullets. Let's take a closer look here. This might be like way off. Oh, this actually looks like maybe it's not on the cliff. Let's see. I see those little, like, plant icons popping up as well. So, I'll check some of those out next time we see one. be all right here we follow this yeah. yeah there we go what's going on here oh another okay Yeah, I'm gonna start suggesting that people don't go to this place, ever. Okay, so hold on. We started out, the woman at the sheriff's office said her son went missing in the hills by Hanging Rock. Cool, we go to the Hanging Rock, no big deal, right? Uh, we discovered signs of violence. There was no conclusive evidence. Then a man sitting outside the sheriff's office said his wife went out to pick mushrooms near Hanging Rock and didn't come back. We went there. No evidence of the wife's whereabouts in the hills near Hanging Rock. So, like... What the frick is going on? With Hanging Rock? Why is anybody... Though you've completed part of this encounter, the story's not over. Check back at the Sheriff's Office in the future. Why the hell is anybody coming out to Hanging Rock these days? Because I don't think you should be. Alright, maybe we should try to, um... Do this bounty while we're out here. Uh, it's a little bit of a stretch away, but we could take a look. It'll want us to go right back through the town. Is there no... Uh, there's, does that mean... I guess it always takes us on paths, right? We can run across the fields, but it prioritizes the pathing. Hey, Mohoner, what's up, buddy? Uh, we're playing on the Xbox One X. That's why it looks so much better than uh, previous iterations. Yeah, the safest, shortest path for our current mount, exactly. Come on. Okay, I want to check this out, too. Easy. Now, I'm not the type that's going to stop at, like, every flower bush. That's one. 
Okay, it's as simple as just, like, harvesting it. You started the first rank of the survivalist challenge. Oh, boy. Like, look at the sky, man. I'm still Let's blown go. away by how good this looks. So how many of you guys, like, focused on hunting and this kind of stuff for making cash? Come on. It seems like that might be a really good way to boost your income, because the basic stuff doesn't seem to be earning us very much at all. Nearing a gang hideout. Hideouts generally contain hostile criminals and other lowlifes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Hunting is important. I've never been one for much grinding, but... I don't see any problem with, like, setting some time aside to, um, to go on, on, like, hunts and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was, like, the saddest thing ever. As he goes down, the long, like, the long moo. Oh, boy. That was cold. I know. I know. But it's cash money. How else are we going to pay for the movies? Let's be honest. Cow meat. <laughs> Love it. Come on, There's another come on. one. That's probably the wife. You get to survive today. The hunter challenges make your dude better? Okay, cool. Is there like a, um... Hold on. If, where do I find the challenges? Are they in journal? Yeah, here. Okay, so hold on. Oh, okay. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold the phone! Hold the phone. So we don't have a hunter challenge yet. We have survivalists. We're collect six wild... Fever few. And then unlocks rewards. Okay, I gotcha. So I should because we're because those things are prominent in this area. Oh, am I getting straight up attacked by wolves? Oh shit. They were attacking me, I'm pretty sure. I can't recall who attacked first. Those aren't dogs, Vinny. <laughs> Those aren't dogs. But for some reason, there is this, like, weird running theme in games where you're killing dogs and stuff. I'm not a fan. Well, wolves, I mean, they were attacking me, so... Like, Come on. Could be worse. Let's get this over with. What the shit is this? That makes you mine. Holy moly. Things with guns aren't the worst out here. Things with teeth. You stink. By collecting a coyote pelt, you've started the first rank of the Master Hunter Challenge. I guess cows aren't aren't cutting it. All right, five coyote pelts. Cool. I mean, maybe not cool. I'm just trying to get back to my horse, guys. That's all I'm trying to do. Get to my horse and this is, dirty. This is like just non-stop fur fights. They probably smell the blood. Alright. Let's go! 
Well, I guess between our travels, um, hunting for coyotes and... And the like. Whoa! He was flying at me. Shit, guys. I'm kind of feeling a little bit bad. Where's the one I took down in those trees? Uh, Cobain. Yeah, definitely I want to play Red Dead 2. Yeah, 100%. That's why I'm playing this in the first place, so that I kind of understand everything going into the second. Where was that first thing that I shot? I don't think it was a wolf. Oh, maybe here. Is it a continuous story? Uh, people were explaining earlier, Luckless, that it's a prequel. The thing about prequels is like... I like it in the sense that you probably don't have to have played this one. But I think there'll be a lot of like little connections that will be cool to notice. Are you shitting me, dude? Oh, did he just dodge that? Okay. Yeah, I need to get out of here, because these things will kill me. Maybe I should be using Let's my pistol or something. Yeah, I see the little I see the uh, little X's. That's really handy. That's a good prize. <laughs> Was that wolf the chosen one? I mean, they all seem to come after me after that first wolf went down, so... Maybe, maybe that was the pack leader? There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Last Too bad the hunting challenges aren't for wolves, otherwise we'd be Master Hunter by this point. Oh, skunks! <laughs> That's cool. How vicious are they? Come on! Okay. Buckle up, guys. About to get real. <laughs> Hold on, just let me sneak up this hill a second. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll go around. That makes more sense. That's cowboy stealth. Is there an actual, like, um, stealth takedown mechanic or anything? Or, uh... Like, with these camps, am I just taking out everybody? Oh, I can't get up there either. I don't like that they've got the high ground advantage on me here. I'm pretty sure that's the main dude, though. Wait, what's happening? Oh, there we go. Where are you, Mo? You're gonna regret crossing my path. He's hobbling. Come on now. Oh, son of a bitch. We're, hard, we're having trouble getting it. There we go. Am 
I guess that's not a bad strategy that we have there. Now to find our way up here. Is that a cave? What the hell? Whoa! That's our guy, right? Watch out there. You're dead. How do I like what? How do I capture this guy? Dude. I might end up killing him here. Yeah, he's dead. That wasn't ideal. I tried to capture the guy, but... Maybe I got it... Maybe it's because we shoot. We shot at him first. And he went down. And if I would have shot at him later... Maybe that's not the best strategy. Oh, you actually need a lasso? Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright. Thanks. This is my new home. Alright, so I shouldn't feel too bad about that. What the- what the- what the shit? Whoa, dudes. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. I just blew his hat off. Intentionally. Put the fear of God in him right before he went down. Sorry about this, partner. Cleaning up, cleaning up my mess. Oh, I can skin the horse. Oh lord, this is nasty. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, I gotta get out of here. That was real close to going down. Seems like this is a hotly contested area between the wolves, the coyotes. Is that a coyote? No! Oh my god, I've done it. Oh no! This is messy. Oh no. Oh, I got serious problems here. I gotta get out of here. I don't have a horse either, so like, can I catch one of these? Don't I have to like learn how to tame horses? I don't know what's happening. But I'm stuck in the middle of the desert now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a... We're gonna be running this. It's okay. It's okay. This is how you become a true survivalist. Oh god. I'm ready for him. They are not dicking around these guys. Just run off home. It's crazy to see like how far their bodies fly when you take them down. <sighs> this is gonna be this is gonna be a bit of a trek. I wonder if I'm safer on the paths compared to uh, not. Do you guys know? Oh, 
a horse drug it? Either way. I have an item that summons a horse? You own a new horse, it will come when you whistle. What? Oh, I can just call this up anytime? Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Guys, now we're in business. This is legit. Yeah. Does it show me, um... Special dark brown horse with a light mane. Faster and stronger than normal. Oh. This is a DLC horse. That's cool. Okay. I actually didn't mind the combat stuff because it was a way for us to, like, um, just get used to it. Understanding what life is like out here. In this shitty desert. Yeah. Also, we'll keep an eye out for, like, flowers and coyotes, but... Guess what time it is. How doth one join your game? I guess I'll return my bounty. Maybe while that's active, we can't do anything. I'm gonna walk it. I feel like we're sufficiently badass. Um, was I thinking about playing the Undead Nightmare expansion? Hello. I don't really understand what it you is. That no good piece of dirt. Thank you. I guess that's not a bad trade-off. Deadly Assassin menu entry updated. That's the, um... That's the outfit, right? Kill or capture Mo Van Bar. <laughs> Win a duel in Armadillo. Hey, this is awesome. I'm gonna see if I can, uh... Play five finger fillet now. It's open, guys. So bounties are like isolated events, right? You go out there, you do the bounty, you have to return before you can do anything else. That's what it seems like. Play a knife hey, game, boy? Come on. Do I? All right, my friend. Undead Nightmares is zombie mode. Oh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right, fire it up. You can win? I don't. I don't remember. Large bets are more difficult than smaller bets. All right, money's down, Mister. Okay. That's the best you got. Press the button illustrated to stab the table in rhythm. Uh, let's try again. Do I have to wait for the button to come up, though, right? Like, I can't just spam it, even though I know the order? Oh, maybe I can. Oh, damn it! Jesus Christ! No, I can. Easy now. I, I shouldn't hesitate. I should just do it. Oh, hell! Wow! Hello? 
I got gotcha. Someone else want to challenge me? Yeah, easy peasy. I got plenty of fingers left, boys. Let's go. All right. Um, let's do ten bucks. A B A Y A B A B A Y. See, that's the tricky part. You got to do the double A B there. The I double we A B. To do this oh shit! Oh! Oh! Any other gluttons for punishment? Let's not get too confident here, okay? There ain't no point in proceeding if you're not going to wager. I think we're good. If I quit, do I get my cash? <laughs> you just need three fingers to shoot the gun. That's a good point, actually. We got we got fingers to spare. <laughs> uh, if I quit, though, like, am I? Do I, I? I'm fine, right? I can quit. Did I win the money, or do I have to? Maybe I have to compete all three. I'm not sure. We'll come back to it later. I got I got things I want to be doing. Okay. Okay. The stagecoach taxi. I don't think we need. Um, you know what I did want to do? Here's what we'll do. We'll go rest in our place. Whoops. Wait, is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. We're gonna rest, so it'll be morning. Then I'm gonna buy some shotgun shells with that, our newly acquired income. Whoops. And then we'll uh, go see Bonnie, I think. Hola. You can greet NPCs? Oh, you shouldn't have told me that. You should not have told me that. I don't think you should be saying that here. Oh, I should reload. Oh, that's true. Hold on, hold on. Does this refill us to the max? Revolver ammo times six, or is it always the same? Repeater times 15. Shotgun times 18. Oh. Hello to you, ma'am. No, thank you, my dear. Well, maybe I don't even have to buy it. Because it gave me shotgun shells. So. Lovely day for it. Fine morning for it, mister. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Did you hear that? Fine morning for What's it. What's the rush there? Damn fool! Dude, chill out. Well, hello there. Hey, what's up, MTT? How are you, buddy? It's nice to meet you. All right, we're gonna go to Bonnie's. Come. Okay, that was a bit dramatic. Let's be honest here. Let's go. Yeah. We want to follow this main road, actually. Nora's stamina gets low. Additional press of A will slow it down. It's usually leads to getting bucked off. Yeah. I kind of wish you could just get the horse up to like a nice speed and just hold the button. And you'd be at like a really good like cruising pace, especially on trails. Instead of having um Let's go. to be constantly pressing it. If 
feel like I'm on a weird path. Oh no, we're good. Wait, what's this? Water and honesty. Howdy, partner. What brings you out? Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? <laughs> oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? No. Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, Mr. Uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. It's yeah. proper time. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. Not like I got anything better to do. Absolutely. Let's make some water. Visit Pleasant's house northwest of Armadillo. Let's see here. A uh, dandy trucker. Thanks for the donation, my man. Love the We Happy Few playthrough. Thank you. You're welcome, man. I I really loved playing that game too, honestly. Oh, it's way out here. All right, we'll check that out later. For now, we'll head back to uh, Bonnie. Yeah, I I really enjoyed that game. There was definitely like. A fair share of bugs, um, but the story was really well done. And that's what I was playing it for. I'm glad you guys liked it. And uh, to everybody that's subbing, I, I really do appreciate it. I'm not calling out each individual one. I'll do, definitely do like um, a thing at the end if you want to stick around. And I'll do some shoutouts at that point for sure. I really do appreciate it though. It means a lot. I'm glad you guys are enjoying uh, Red Dead with me. Oh shit. Oh, I think I might have shot the guy. Woo! I can't believe it. You saved me. What's mine is yours, friend. Are Don't you sure? Mention. That's my good deed for the day. Ballard Twins outfit no. menu entry updated. I like that we seem to kind of randomly run into these different things. Defend residents of Hennigan Stead. Yeah, this is kind of, this is really cool how these just kind of pop up and some of them are related, some of them are not. Oh, I can't skin these? These look skinnable. Don't think you'll be needing this. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is pretty stereotypical rock star stuff. It's nice for me to to be able to play this before uh, the next one releases so that I'll have like a more kind of fluid understanding of how that world works. 
Can I not skin these? I see the X's. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's make this quick. Oh yeah, that's good advice, Finger Toes. Thanks, man. He's saying that if you lock on, uh, it usually locks onto the chest, but if you move up a little bit, then you can target the head. I'm with you. In the heat of the moment, I'm just so worried about dying that I feel like... Oh, cool. A lot of times, they're going down in one shot, if I'm not mistaken. Sometimes two. It's weird for me to have, like, a bunch of these random events. Hold on, is this horse something I can tame? Or, like, just take? He seems pretty chill. I guess so. Or I could take that whole cart. And... I gotta say, like, for me it's a bit different than what I'm used to in the sense that... Because I'm usually recording or streaming the game... I typically have, like, okay, here's the mission we're gonna do, and we're going to do it. And then we'll do a next mission and the next mission. But in these games, uh, there's definitely going to be some distractions. And I guess it's just, those are pretty simple, right? Where that guy on the side of the road needs help. Um, I don't know if they're all like that, but I guess it just makes sense to handle them as they come up. Women and cattle. Don't do it, chat. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarlane. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarlane, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, mm. if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. Damn. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. Jesus. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. Mm. He was a great man, in a way. Kind of like a father but figure, I guess. People. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. 
Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. I guess we work for her now. So let me get this straight. We have a wife and a son. I don't know where they are. Uh, we had a daughter, but she died. Our mother died during childbirth, and our father died when we were eight. And then we joined a gang. Looked up to the like the gang leader as like a father type figure. And Come we on, killed a bunch up. of people. Move these cattle. That's insane. Uh, heretic yeah. frickin' Grim. How the hell are you, dude? It's been a long time. Thank you so much for the cheer. That is... That's incredible. 15,000 bits. Marston. Thank you so Let's much, dude. These cows moving. That, that means so Let's much. Thank you, dude. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. So, I believe that this is the point in the game that I got to, like, two years ago. Thank you for telling me all I'm that back sure. there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. How are you, Miss McFarland? Yeah, I'm good too, thanks for asking. Move into position behind the herd. Yeah, Heretic, if you're still here, dude, thank you so much. That was really, really generous. Herd the cows out of the pen. Come on! Come on, job, Mr. Marston! Come! Come on, boys. Pass them down the road, Mr. Marston. Well, I would if they weren't so dumb. I see. Am I going to play the zombie DLC? Somebody was asking. Um, we'll see. I want to get through this, this first. Way. We need to take them out to the pasture. All right, guys. Get up there. Get I imagine the DLC is more Come about, on, like, uh... Down. It's more like after content. If it's zombies, it seems very casual. Whoa, whoa. I like how she's like, can you help me with this? And then just dicks right off. <laughs> You're doing everything. Let's go. I don't know if you guys know this, but I grew up in uh, Saskatchewan. It's a farming province. And, uh... Right. Let's move this large herd out to the far pasture. I've herded a few cows in my day. That's a lie. I never did any of this. Keep sweeping behind them. That way they'll stay together. Press up to drive the herd. Holler Let's at go. the cows. Move! Come on! Oh, okay. I'll never remember that. Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Keep going, Mr. Boston! Oh, we got a straggler. Let's go. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. <laughs> Maybe. I'll see you later. Maybe that's I have more work like to it. Do back at the ranch. Yeah. That was easy money. People have taken notice of your honorable actions. Jobs and towns pay twice as much. Honor, honest Joe. Oh, that's like my, um... That's like my title? <laughs> I'm honest Joe. Guys, we've completed 8.3% of the game. Can't believe it. Oh, hold on a sec. Can't let these flowers go. Hey, Falstor gifted you a sub, heretic. That's nice of you, Falstor. You didn't have to do that. 
Nee, thanks for the 11 months. How are you feeling, Nee? It's been a while since we've caught up. I remember you weren't feeling so hot. I am hope you're doing a lot better. Uh, let me check my journal real quick here. Jobs in town pay twice as much. So that must be like just random uh, like side jobs that we can take, right? <laughs> yeah, he needed more badges. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you're doing well, Nee. Squid, thanks for the 12 months too, by the way, buddy. I really appreciate that. I know I missed a whole bunch of people, but I will do a, a thing at the end, as I mentioned. Easy. Bertha's looking dope. Look at her. Oh, so cool. Hey, Shellshock, what's up, man? Yeah, almost a year, hey? Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. You know anything about Red Dead, Shellshocked? Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarlane. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Perhaps. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians, tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Jesus. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. When you guys say out east, they mean like a little bit more of a Trust civilized... Me, I agree with you. Living? Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Oh, yeah. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. Let's break some horses. City in. dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> the game is set in 1911. Did that come up anywhere, or is that just from, like, research? You're going to need this, Mr. Marston. We got a lasso, boys. <laughs> Prepare the memes. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. Oh, God.